It doesn't matter where you're from or where you're going, we all deal with traffic lights. And what is the biggest gripe drivers seem to have? They're not timed. So are they? And who owns and operates the traffic lights? We found out in this case that explains. I'm a very impatient person, so I feel like every light is long. Try and take a left turn and it just takes forever. Everywhere is crowded, <laughs> all of it. And the traffic lights is not very well synced here. Their complaints local public works departments here often. Yes, yes, we do. The most common thing that we get is people are at the light too long. That they're waiting too long for a traffic light to turn green. Or it didn't let enough cars through. Or that the traffic light is not green long enough. I think there's the, there's two common misconceptions is that, uh, you know, these signals are not timed correctly. Well, they are. The other is who's responsible for that signal. Three groups are in charge of timing and maintaining local traffic signals the city, the county, and the Texas Department of Transportation. That map represents one of the 1,145 traffic signals that the city uh, operates throughout town. This is the TransGuide Operations Center. City Public Works employees are here monitoring information from traffic signals and all these cameras. Right now we have about 250 uh, intersections that have cameras. Not red light cameras, those are banned in Texas. These cameras give crews a real-time road View. We can watch to see is the light operating the way we think it should be operating and then we have equipment that is recording uh, how long each light is green and red. SAPD also has staff here as well as via bus dispatchers and TxDOT. There's a rarely known code in our Texas Administrative Code that says if a city is over 50,000 population they own and maintain the traffic signals on our highways. In our area, that applies to San Antonio and New Braunfels. So in those two cities on all TxDOT roads, the city owns and maintains all traffic signals. The exception is any frontage road traffic signal along a freeway. TxDOT owns roughly 200 traffic lights on local frontage roads, but here's where things merge. We pay the city of San Antonio to maintain about 130 of those frontage road signals. In smaller cities in Bear County that have fewer than 50,000 people, TxDOT owns and maintains those lights. These are a few examples. But because some roads in those cities are connected to San Antonio streets, there are exceptions, like in Leon Valley. We pay the city of San Antonio to maintain those traffic signals for us in Leon Valley just because San Antonio has signals north of there, they have signals south of there, so it kind of they tie it all together as one system. One system with a lot of different timing programs. How do you determine how long the signals need to stay green or when they need to turn red? So we do an engineering analysis uh, at every intersection where we go out and we collect uh, data. We look at uh, how many cars are going through the intersection and what direction they're going, how many left turns they're taking, how many right turns and we also look at how many pedestrians. Time of day is a factor too. City traffic lights usually have three timing programs, one for the morning rush hour, one for the evening rush hour, and one for the times in between. For some locations, we have even more than that because we have some locations that have like a heavy lunch period, for example, or some that have unique uh, traffic patterns on the weekends. So we may have a different timing plan that runs on Saturday versus one that runs on Sunday. When lights go from green to yellow to red depends on that pre-programmed timing and motion detection at the intersection. So, for example, if you have two cars waiting to make a left turn, then they will get less screen time than let's say if we had five cars waiting to make a left turn. The city re-examines traffic signal timing every three to five years or when something new is built, like a new neighborhood or shopping center, for example, or more often when they get complaints. On the county side of things, there are far fewer traffic signals. Bear County operates a total of 62, but that number is growing, including this new signal here at Wiseman Boulevard and Tillman Ridge, all to accommodate a brand new subdivision. This is the, the brains right there. That's the, that's the computer for the traffic cabinet. This is where that timing is controlled. There's always gonna be a minimum time and a maximum time 
which if there's no traffic, it'll just do the minimum time. If you do have traffic, you know, there's a lot of cars, it'll, it'll shut off at the maximum time and it'll allow the, mo the most cars it can while still keeping in mind that there's another leg that needs to go through. That minimum and maximum time varies at every intersection. The city of San Antonio says lights will typically be green 60 seconds on a main street, 30 seconds for a smaller street and 15 seconds for left turn lanes. Three of the most traveled intersections in San Antonio are Southwest Military at Zarzamora, Calabra at Westwood Loop and Petrenko at Hunt Lane. Bear County Public Works says it doesn't track an average time, but they do know the busiest intersections, Alamo Ranch at Lone Star Parkway, Alamo Ranch at Alamo Ranch Parkway and Bull Verde Road at TPC Parkway. In the next several months, the county is upgrading to a system that will allow them to monitor traffic signals remotely. We can connect automatically from our desktop and look to see if someone calls and says that there's something wrong, we can actually just log into the system directly and check it. The county, the city and TxDOT say the goal is to keep people moving. The timing may not be perfect and all that traffic I'm from a small town of Lubbock, Texas, and we don't have that problem. It's not perfect either. Sometimes it's just the people's driving. Most times it's just the people's driving's fault. <laughs>